from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventure. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This is Plan B. We're in Grand Isle, Louisiana and should be out in the blue water chasing tuna. But there's a storm in the Gulf and high winds are keeping the charter fleet inside the marina and we've come a long way to go fishing. We've got quite the crew on hand this week, including Elite Series Pro Jeff Crete, Trocar Hooks Marty Riddell, Wade Middleton and the 2012 Elite Series Angler of the Year, Brent Chapman. Well, I'm trying to catch us some bait. The fishing's a little slow other than catfish, so I figured I'd break out the cast net and try my uh, cast netting skills, see if I could still do that, and see what we can catch. So hopefully we can find us some maybe finger mullet or something like that, something we can catch the big redfish or trout on. Well, here, here's what happens when you drive to Grand Isle to go offshore and the wind's blowing really hard with a bunch of guys that really like to fish. You got the angler of the year over there throwing a cast net for bait. You got two other guys out here, Marty with Trocar and Jeff Welch out here doing anything to catch them. You got my buddy out here, Joey Cantrell. We convinced him that if he could get to the clear water in a kayak, that we would catch something big. He almost, we're really encouraging him. He took a little spill, but he said he's young and he's still going. The problem is, I don't know that he knows how to turn it back. So hopefully he'll be all right. Wade is an excellent swimmer. He's gonna, Wade, you gonna go rescue my buddy out there? <laughs> but, but this is the deal. We, we've got us a setup out here. And that's the cool thing about the coast. Uh, when the wind is like this and you can't run long, we have big plans to fish for tuna. Still, you get the right guys and have a good time. And we've caught catfish, croaker, Go shrimp, a few trout, it's all good at the coast. Look out! Another catfish, buddy. Unfortunately, you know, with the storms rolling in, the muddy water, we didn't catch really anything big, but, uh, you know, after all said and done, you know, we ad libbed. Um, we got to a point where we said, well, you know, Mother Nature's not going to change, so we, we need to get out there and, and uh, try some new stuff, and, and we, were, uh, we were able to do that, and, and it turned out great. You know, we still came out, had a good time, played on the beach a little bit, caught a few fish there, got out in the, in the bay, and, uh, you know, made the most of a, of a tough situation, caught some fish, going to have a fish fry, and uh, still had a great time. No matter what the weather is here on the coast, you can always make a day out of it. So you may not be going 60, 80 miles out to catch tuna or marlin or dolphin or what you want to catch, but you can still have a good time by going in the bay because there's so many species to catch. You really don't know what you're going to catch. And I mean, all you got to do is put a shrimp on and a popping cork and there's no telling what you're going to catch. Oh God, cork down! Got a screamer. Get him up here. Come on, Creed. Hang on, I'm resting. You got a boat flip him? You turn it over to the professionals and you catch fish. Look at that. <laughs> and that's how we do it! <laughs> that's how I'm talking about. That's dinner. <laughs> we didn't bring anything to eat because we had big plans of eating tuna and dolphin and maybe even a big swordfish. And uh, so we didn't bring anything. So we knew we had to catch something to eat. We were actually fishing for a living. We have two corn dogs left, one moon pie and two RC colas, that's all we have. So now, we spend every last bit of money we have on shrimp. So we either eat shrimp or trout. What's he doing? He's knocking stuff with his tail and eating trout. <laughs> He's showing us how easy it really is. He's on. 
Look at that. This is a That's good a one good here. One there. What the hell is this? Sheep's head? Yeah. yeah. These are a blast to catch. Oh, yeah. I keep them? They say they're good to eat. Joey clean it. He, he kicks them. You got a knife, I'll clean it. Do we have a knife that'll handle them? Yeah, bubble buddy. Coming up, despite the weather, the fishing only gets better. <laughs> Don't go away. Cabela's Tackle Box your online source for the gear you need. Like the Eagle Claw Trocar Inshore Kale Hook, or maybe you need a new reel. Check out Cabela's Salt Striker Spinning Reels. You can find it all online at cabelas.com. What if there was an action camera that went where you went, saw what you saw, and captured it more vividly than even your imagination? What if you could record video and shoot stills remotely? Would you keep your hands inside the vehicle at all times? Life, camera, action. The Verb HD Action Camera from Garmin. The Bubba Blade makes filleting fish faster, easier, and safer. Check this out. The Bubba Blade is super sharp and has a super grip. You can feel everything with this knife. It's really nice. One cut and you're through. Real smooth. Just like butter. The Bubba Blade is the only fillet knife you're ever going to need. So check out our website at www.bubbablade.com and order your Bubba Blade today. For camping, fishing, hunting, or anything outdoors, bring along Arctic Ice. Simply freeze these versatile cooler packs and they're ready to keep your food and drinks cold throughout your outing. Arctic Ice can maintain in a cooler 60% longer than the equal weight of regular ice and with no more mess or soggy food. Arctic Ice is clean and easy. Alaskan series can maintain a sub 40 degree cooler for days and the Tundra series can keep game frozen till it gets home. Preserve an Arctic refuge in your cooler. Choose Arctic Ice. Americana Outdoors is brought to you by Garmin and the power of simple. Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter. And by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors from Grand Isle, Louisiana. Well, we had big plans to head offshore this week. But there's a storm brewing in the Gulf, and nobody was willing to battle the 10-foot seas. So, instead of running long, Wade launched the Ranger Bahia, loaded the live well with shrimp, and made a short run to find some fish. Right. Here, let me do something. Oh! oh, yeah! This trip was to come down, do some offshore fishing, do some inshore fishing. Uh, Mother Nature kind of had some other plans for us, and we had to adapt. You know, as the day went on, we, we started to put some keeper trout into the live well, and things were looking pretty good. We're just kind of going along, the water started looking better. And Jeff looks out to the right and uh, and just kind of sees the water hump up. Both Jeff and I fired out there, and he fired out and got broke off, and, and I fired out there, and I got like two pops, and I mean, that spinning rod went nuts. Uh, you know, Wade generally waits for me to find them. 
and uh, once I found him and lost the fish, he knows now. He's got the, probably the small one out of the way. Now I'm going to catch the big one. Can you power pole down or not? Five foot deep. There's a bunch of them out there if you want to try to catch them. Throw out there. Throw out just out this way? Yeah. <laughs> and then immediately, it's creek. Get on the trolling motor. I don't have enough line on. You know, we're fishing for trout. So I chase it around, and then it's creek. Grab the net. Well, he, he brought a net big enough, just a little bit bigger than a bait net. Pull him out from underneath there. <laughs> nah, he's still right here. I still got him right here. We are literally out here fighting yeah, this big fish with, I mean, big we're, we're fighting with the littlest piece of equipment you could possibly imagine catching a fish like this. And when it first came up out there, the first thing that popped in my mind, I said, like, that may be the biggest redfish I've ever hooked. You better not mess this up, Jim. Taking us out in the middle of the bay now. It's been in for about 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, spinning rods and this or not. You want the net, Jeff? He might be able to get his head in the net. Yeah, I know that net. Uh, I didn't bring it for this. <laughs> Jeff's going to try his skills at landing. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Wow. <laughs> Look at that dude. Yeah, <laughs> buddy. Come on, Creek. Get him in. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Coming up, we'll leave Grand Isle and head to Venice to meet up with Clark Wendlandt and Chris Sprangers. This season on Americana Outdoors, we're giving away a hunting or fishing trip of a lifetime. We're also giving away a stack of Cabela's gift cards and some great outdoor gear. All you have to do to win is go to the Americana Outdoors Facebook page and give us a like. It's that easy. Engineered to excel, the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series are built for the ultimate ownership experience. It's a commitment to excellence packed with real-world advantages and exclusive features. Experience the accelerated performance standards of the legendary Ranger Z series. From first light to last cast, they're put together to set you apart. Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. At Amphibia, we've resolved to build a product that nobody else offers using methods that nobody else is using, optimized for life on water and land. The choice of top bass fishing pros. Amphibia frames are designed to fit comfortably no matter how your face is shaped, to stay firmly in place through your most physical activities and to float in water. Amphibia sunglasses are truly designed for life on the water. It's for those who get up early on weekends, and those who'd rather rough it than take it easy. It's for those who know it's not just a sport, but a way of life. The new Food Saver Game Saver Vacuum Sealing System keeps food fresh up to five times longer with a rugged design and 12 volt adapter cord for easy use in the field. Ensuring your game and fish is fresh when you need it. The Food Saver Game Saver Vacuum Sealing System. Field it fresh, sealed fresh. This is where we do that bundling thing. Let's see what you got. RV, covered. Why would you pay for a hotel? I never do. Motorcycles, check. ATV. I ride those. Do you? No. Boat. Ahoy, mateys. House. Hello, dear. Hello. Hello. Van with airbrushed fire breathing dragons. Ah, check. The more you bundle, the more you save. Now that's progressive. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is also brought to you by Yamaha Marine. Reliability starts here. Laser Trocar Surgically Sharpened Hooks. And by Bradley Smokers. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. If you head south from New Orleans and follow the Mississippi 70 miles downstream, you'll find Venice, Louisiana long considered the sport fishing capital of the United States. 
We're here with three-time FLW Angler of the Year, Clark Wendlet, Cabela's Chris Sprangers, Wade Middleton, and our old friend and guide, Shane Cochran, from the Venice Fishing Lodge. A lot of mullet. There's a lot of mullet here. You know, I've been fishing for a long time, tournaments, and, and I've only been to Venice one time. I've never been red fishing here. I've caught a couple big red fish down here, but it was a long time ago. And, but what, I, what impressed me about this place was just how big, and how dynamic, and how much there is to it. This is so cool. Any place that's like so dynamic that you can't even, yeah. you can never get your fill of it. That's, yeah, that's the, the kind of place that's I That's the like. best thing about this place. That's so cool, man. Look at he went for it. He got it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> he went to it. We're in uh, one of my favorite fishing spots, Venice, Louisiana. We're having a good time, trying to shoot a little bit of television, but uh, you know, really just enjoying each other's company and doing what we all love to do, which is catch fish. And uh, I'll tell you, as I said, Venice is a great place to do that because oh, oh, you have to work real hard to get into fish, and it's always a good time. Oh, he just saw it. that's a big fish, gentlemen. That's a begging, Chris. That's a begging. <laughs> I uh, I don't think I'm gonna swing this in, Clark. You got a net? I can get him coming. Get him coming to us. It will. Wow. Louisiana redfish. I love this place. Every time I come here, and uh, these fish have taught me so many lessons how to handle big fish. But you get into one, you know, it, it's it's amazing. I don't. You can hear me. I was worried about losing line and catching them, but it's it's a trip. I love this place. I come back here any day of the week. If you're planning a trip, we recommend the Venice Fishing Lodge. You can find them online at venicefishinglodge.net. Coming up, we've got a lot more action from Venice, Louisiana. Check out Cabela's Tackle Box for the latest technology from Garmin, like the GPS Map 531S. Load it up with Garmin's Lakeview HD Ultra and get out on the water. More from Americana Outdoors after these messages. Yamaha VMAX SHO, the game changer. The pros knew right out of the first hole shot that the VMAX SHO was the real deal. VMAX SHO exceeds two-stroke performance, delivers four-stroke efficiency, and is packed with legendary Yamaha reliability. It's the faster, stronger, smarter, lighter family of VMAX SHO outboards from Yamaha. Now, when it comes to wildlife management products and services related to raising big whitetails, you don't have to look any further than Mummies Incorporated. Located in South Texas, Mummies has been the leader in wildlife management products for over 20 years and know what products it takes to get the job done right. We're the largest independent dealer of Purina's Antler Max line of deer feeds. In addition to our famous brand of Mummies Deer Corn that's utilized on ranches all across South Texas. We have a wildlife specialist on staff to answer your deer management questions and help you out with your deer program. At Mummies, you're a part of the wildlife family and not just a customer. We try to be here for more than just some place to stop and pick up feed. We're here to answer anybody's questions and any kind of wildlife related instances. Before you make your next purchase of any wildlife related items, be sure to check out our website at www.mummiesinc.com to see how we can help you out. Hello, this is where we do that bundling thing. Let's see what you got. RV, cover. Why would you pay for a hotel? I never do. Motorcycles, check. ATV. I ride those. Do you? No. Boat. Ahoy, mateys. House. Hello, dear. Hello. Hello. Fan with airbrushed fire-breathing dragons. Ah, check. The more you bundle, the more you save. Now that's progressive. 
you want to activate the bass, you better have a HydroWave. You've got six different bait fish sounds, you run it at any volume, you can see them actually come up to the speaker of the HydroWave. You can watch them come up off the bottom. When you're fishing deep, the hardest one to catch is always the first one. With the HydroWave, you get them going faster. HydroWave, I won't fish without it. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin is also brought to you by Amphibia Performance Floating Eye Gear, Big Bite Baits, bring the big bite to your line, and by Bubba Blade. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors from Venice, Louisiana. Now we left the Venice Marina early this morning with Clark Wendlet, Chris Sprangers, and Shane Cochran from the Venice Fishing Lodge. There are plenty of places along the Gulf Coast where you can catch redfish, but these shallow brackish waters are without a doubt the best in I the mean, world. What a fabulous place. I, I asked Shane today, hey, what, what would it be like for me to come down here? How long would it take me to really learn this as a bass fisher? Because to me, it's, the bass fishing is just as intriguing as the redfish fishing. And he said, it'd take you three months to really understand this place, learn it what the water levels do to it. And, and I'm sure three months wouldn't even really scratch the surface, but just to get an idea of it. And I'm sitting there thinking, God, that'd be awesome. I saw him roll on it. No, I was, I was looking to the side because one had just jumped over here and, it, and he thumped it on the fall though. He's got a chunk out of him. He does. Way cool. You know, one thing that really impressed me about redfish, they really are a lot like bass. And, and when I say a lot like bass, just the way you, you know, you got to try to figure them out during the day. They may be in, they may be out. You may have to kill your bait like we were today to get a bite, or you may have to, you know, to burn it. You, there's all kinds of different ways to fish. What we're doing is uh, we're throwing a spinner bait. We're getting a reaction strike out of these fish right now. Uh, a redfish typically will eat just about anything. But right now they're wanting, uh, they're wanting that little bit, of, little bit of flutter flash, if you'll notice. You know, Clark, see, he's, he's basically jerking that spinner bait and letting it flutter, then picking up, jerking it again, maybe slow roll it a little bit. And they, these fish are hitting it on the fall. Shane's a, a great guy, a great teacher. Um, love fishing with him, it's always enjoyable. The first time I came down here, the first time I caught a redfish, he was a captain and uh, kind of helped me out on the sight fishing deal. No. Is it? Yeah. It looks a little gray. By no means do I have his knowledge when it comes to redfish, but I, I understand what he's doing and while we're doing things, and he's certainly made me a better angler as I've visited right. uh, Venice. Um, not only for redfish, which is his expertise, but I think some of the things he's pointed out as we chase redfish mean things other places as well. Beauty Clark. Yeah, that was pretty cool. There's just nothing like it, man. When that fish bites, it's, and a lot of times they'll bite and they'll just sit there, but when, as soon as they feel pressure, it's as fast as they can go, as far as they can go. And we had one just right before that, that we saw that was about a 40 pounder. And uh, I saw, I mean, where, where I threw for him is, is about four feet of line out. And it, I mean, I'm almost glad he didn't bite because it would have been pretty scary right there. But. Maybe we'll get one of those big ones in a minute. Trout. That's a trout, isn't it? The way you jump like that. It was kind of fun. I've been down here a number of times and fished. Um, Clark, I think, had only been here once and hadn't fished to the extent that we have today. And um, it was fun to show him a little bit about what I've done down here in the past where usually we're on a bass boat and he's, he's absolutely the professor trying to help me out with uh, catching fish. So change the roles a little bit, but man, it's a good time. Oh, that's a pretty deep red fish. That sucker was fast, Chris. Yeah, he was. I mean, he I was doing everything screaming. I could. Ready? Yeah. 
also pretty fit. You got a chunk out of him too. I'm, I'm coming back, I guarantee it. I mean, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna bring my <clears throat> wife and kids, I'm gonna bring my family, um, I'm gonna bring, I, I got some friends that I just know would love it and you know, want, want to take home fish, you know, put in the freezer. And this is, I mean, there's no better place. I've never seen a place more suited for it. Yeah, it's all good. Isn't it? <laughs> it totally is a whipping stick. <laughs> He just didn't do the dramatic run, but he's still so funny strong. Wow. Yeah, that, that ain't Spranger's foot. It's pretty big. You know what I'll say though, if my fish was as thick as that one, it would have had a, this fish is thick all the way through, man. That's a good fish. It's a good fish, Clark. <laughs> That's too much fun right there. Oh yeah, there was no doubt. Did he hit it when it was floating? Um, I was reeling past him and he just came right by and just took a big old swing at it. My, my hand went right over that hook was. That's why I was like, I'm out of there. I've had that one happen before. Sight fishing, Louisiana Reds. Venice Fishing Lodge is an unbelievable experience. It's a great place to bring, you know, friends or family or in, in our case we've got some other business customers down here we don't get to see all the time and it gives us an opportunity to do what we enjoy and, and talk business but have a good time and, and with the help of Billy Nicholas and all his captains it's not hard to do. Visit the Americana Outdoors Facebook page and register to win one of our big giveaways like an all expense paid hunting trip or fishing trip. To register all you need to do is give us a like. We're drawing winners soon so register today. And if you have a photo from your latest fishing trip or hunt, we encourage you to post that up on our page. We'd love to see it. Americana Outdoors is a Careco TV production. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.